one thing we start with in both the mission statement and our core values is to serve, honor, and glorify God. And then we asked the question, okay, what's the best way to serve, honor, and glorify God? And that was our, became our second core value, and that's taking care of people. So we take care of our employees first, our employees then take care of our customers, and then our customers help us run the third core value, a sound financial company. And the best way to run a sound financial company is to serve, honor, and glorify God. So this is not a destination. It's a, it's a continuous process, and we do it in a circular type fashion uh, that has served us well. There's several verses in the Bible that talk about God opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. And I thought that was pretty important. I kind of wanted to be on that gives grace to the humble end of that, not on the oppose the proud end of that. You know, all you got to do a lot of times is just say please and thank you. We started with two pillars, humble, grateful, then we get our last two pillars are intentionality and accountability, which sound hard and harsh, and but they're not. They, they're very positive. Intentionality covers everything. Just don't go by anybody or anything. If you just think through it on the front end, that's being intentional. Usually it eliminates surprises for anybody and it's really to help us hold the fourth pillar, which is accountability. So in 2016, I think I introduced the accountability piece. That was the same year we did the ESOP transaction. So now we're all accountable to each other as employee owners for Harold's. And then I think that bleeds over uh, into how we deal with customers, how we deal with our vendor partners, suppliers. Day in and day out, if we think about being humble, if we say thank you, if we're intentional in the things we do, and we hold each other accountable in a kind but intentional way, I think it serves everybody well, and I think we win. Thank you.